name is Babs. I'm an active manifesting coach. You can book sessions in your own time zone on my website, manifestwithbabs.com or manifestingiseasy.com. Either one, because I changed my channel to two names because manifesting is easy. It should be easy. And if it's not, then maybe you have the wrong tools. And I love manifesting and let's get into it. Today, I wanted to show you how I do focus work. So I want you to first off know that focus work is affirmations, visualizations, scripting, anything like that. Anything that makes you concentrate on the end result, right? And I also want you to realize that focus work has one job and one job only to bring up resistance and attachment. That's it. Oh, and attachment actually comes from resistance because attachment is usually from a limiting belief and you're looking, attachment is when you're looking for something from that manifestation, such as successfulness, love, etc. right? Anyway, so focus work has one job and one job only, and that is to bring up resistance and attachment. That's it, that's it. So technically we only ever have to think about something once because it already has been created. You don't have to create anything. All you're doing now is you're manifesting it into the 3D. Manifesting means it shows up where you can touch it and see it and use it, whatever, right? It's 3D. That's it. Because by the time you think about it, it's already been created. You got that thought from your higher self, the universe, source, whatever you call it. I don't care. So that's it. And I keep saying that's it because that's it. Anyway, let's stop the video right here because that's it. Just kidding. Um, you have so many ways of focusing on it. Pick what feels right to you and not what someone else tells you. So what I'm teaching you, if that doesn't feel right to you, don't do it. Do what feels good to you. Thing is, I usually don't care how you focus on your end result. All I want you to do is get into the end result feeling because that is pure gold. We are these human bodies. We are, we have a higher self, sure, but we're here in this human form and we do nothing but feel. Sometimes it's in the annoying direction, I know, but we feel so much all the time. So when we feel good, that just attracts things so nicely. Love, happiness, those things are really strong magnets for something. And the law of attraction is like attracts like. So I like to actually combine multiple things um, in my focus work. I don't just do one. I don't just visualize because sometimes I can visualize without feeling something. I actually like to um, connect visualization with um, affirmations, but I don't like those really boring robot affirmations. I call them natural affirmations. And if you hear something in the background, that is my cat playing because that's what she does when I do videos and we love her for it. Right, itty bitty? Sure. Anyway, I like to combine multiple things. Pretty much what I do is I tell myself a story or I imagine that I'm telling someone else the story. So I want you to do focus work in the sense that, hey, you already have it. Your focus work needs to be, you already have it, you already got it. Because your mind can only process things as the present. The past doesn't exist. The past is processed as the present. So you can actually use positive memories as focus work. It is such a neat little trick. I love using that. If you have experience with that or something similar, if you're manifesting a specific person, you have experience with that person, you can use those memories because memories always come with emotions and feelings, right? So that's great and that's super rich. Or if you have experience of what really healthy, good love feels like, you do that and insert into the visualization that person that you're manifesting, their face, right? or their name, or if it's not a specific person, then you just get the feeling and touching someone and it doesn't have to have a face, right? But what I want you to do is, A, be clear in what you want. The more clear, the easier it is to actually give you what you want. If you don't know what you want, figure out what you don't want. Um, and then next, I want you to get into the feeling of it. And the easiest for that is, Thoughts. Thoughts create emotions. That is my rule number 125. I don't know. 
six. Um, thoughts create emotions. That's how I learned it. And that is very true for me. And it's helped my clients. I like to look at things that logically because manifesting is pretty much just science. It's not magic. It is magic. And it's a little bit of magic and a little bit of science because you can follow this recipe and it's like baking. You follow this recipe and you get the end result that you're expecting, right? Hopefully. Um, so focus work. I like to do a visualization. If you think you're not good at visualizing, uh, you are just stuck in a limiting belief. So accept that I accept that I'm not good at visualization or visualizing and keep accepting it until it, that's gone. That's how I get rid of limiting beliefs. I just accept them until they're gone. I don't even do affirmations anymore. And then I combine my visualization with some affirmations but the natural ones the ones that are more like storytelling that's why scripting is actually really effective and nice because you're telling yourself a story but i want you to remember think of the focus work as it already happened or it's happening right now you could be talking to your friend and you're telling them, oh my god it's happening right now i'll do some examples of how i do it right but you want to get into the end result feeling what does it feel like to have that manifestation Pick as many feelings as you can, happy, relieved. Um, stay away from excited. Excited is usually an indication that you have attachment uh, and th that it will happen and you don't know that it will happen because again, the mind only processes in the now. The future doesn't exist. That's why we often get anxious when we say it will happen. Stay away from certainty because that can be an indication of um, um, attachment and will. it will happen is usually indication of attachment that's okay your attachment is fine attachment is never toxic attachment is completely normal and most of the time you are probably attached in some way or another and that's fine it'll go away so stay in the now it already happened or it is happening right now and I, what does it feel like to get that to have it to be getting it right now or to already have it it already happened yesterday or an hour ago right or it happened a month ago and you're still thinking about, oh my God, you manifested this. Tell yourself a story. Think of something that someone or something that you can share this experience with, like your best friend. You go to your best friend and you imagine it. So combine it. I would highly recommend working on the visualization. Everyone can do it, especially if you thought about memories. Everyone has memories, right? Memories are just a visualization. How do you think about a memory? It's a visualization. Everyone can visualize just a limiting belief. Visualization is actually really, really beautiful because then you combine the visual and you combine more senses and then the thoughts that create emotions. So the thoughts are stories and affirmations. And it's so rich, the more senses you can include in your visualization or focus work, the better, it's gold. You want it to feel real. Uh, the more real, the better because that's what it'll feel like when it shows up. You're like, oh. Okay, so here's some examples of how I, how I do um, focus work. I often close my eyes, I don't always close my eyes, and I focus whenever I want to focus on it or when my mind focuses on it because it does that automatically sometimes. Um, that's when I focus on it. There's no certain time you need to focus on it. There's no certain way, again, just, just Get into the feeling of it, whatever gets you into the feeling. And this is what I do. And if it helps, take it. And if you have your own way and it works, stick with that. So I think about it and then I go, let's pick a guy. Oh my God, we're actually together. Oh, this feels so good. I'm feeling relieved. I love being with him. We're together and we're so happy. And this is the best relationship we've ever been in. We are so in love with each other. I did this. I manifested this. Holy shit, I actually manifested. It happened. We're together and we're so happy. Oh my God, I have goosebumps. That's how I get into the end result. You don't have to close your eyes however I, you do it. And sometimes I don't even do the visualization. Sometimes I do just the storytelling to get into the feeling of it. But I love visualizing and often I get natural visual visualizations that just hit my head and I go with it. I'm like, oh yeah, that feels nice. And then I, when the visualizations come in, I can't talk. Um, then I tend to add some wording such as, oh, I did this, I manifested this. It actually happened. I manifested, we're together, we're so happy. So I tell myself a story or I imagine telling my friend a story or I imagine texting my friend and I go, oh my God, holy shit, guess what just happened? 
He popped up. Oh my God, he texted me. It's totally happening. This is amazing. So are you just telling a story? Tell it to yourself or someone else. I don't care. Or imagine writing in your diary or write in your diary. That's called scripting. But all I want you to remember is please, 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 the most important thing that I teach is get into the end result feeling of already having it. And that is pure gold. Again, I like to do it with storytelling and visualization. Sometimes I just do the storytelling and that gets me totally into the mood. Pretty much you're just getting into the mood of having a relationship, I'm not talking about sexual mood, just the mood of already having it, right? Wow. I make so much money every single month. And then I like to imagine the bank account having large numbers. It doesn't have to be a specific number. Just, oh my God, I have so much money in my bank account. I make so much money. This is amazing. I can buy whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. I have absolute financial freedom. This is amazing. I love it. I actually manifested this all the time. That gets me into the feeling of it. I just tell myself a story. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, book a session. Bye.